Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make super healthy and delicious rainbow energy balls. You might have seen many recipes of energy balls, isn't it? So what's make the difference in this recipe? Those are the colors I have added. I believe that consuming foods in a variety of different colors can help ensure you are getting all the essential nutrients, vitamins and minerals your body needs. And when it looks better, it tastes better. So let's move on to the recipe. To make these energy balls, we will require a cup of cashews, walnuts, sunflower seeds, almonds and uh, dates. Now we will uh, roast all the seeds except dates. So now keep the flame on uh, low to medium and uh, roast it for about 2 to 3 minutes and not more than that. Our seeds are roasted well, so we will take it out into a different bowl and let it cool down. For the first variety of balls, I am using dates as a sweetener. So first cut all the dates into small chunks. I have used around 12 to 15 dates to make these balls. I am going to transfer these dates into a mixy jar. You can also use a food processor here and we will make fine paste out of it. Our dates paste is also ready now so keep this aside. Our nuts are also cooled down so we will grind our nuts now. We want coarse texture of our uh, nuts so don't grind it too much. Just give few pulses and uh, your mixture will be ready. And a similar way grind all the nuts. Now our nuts powder is uh, ready. And I'm going to make three kinds of energy balls today. So I'm dividing this mixture into three equal parts. For the first variety of energy ball I'm using dates as a sweetener. So now transfer the dates paste into a bowl. And now mix everything well together. Dates will work here as a sweetener as well as binder to our balls. You can also use almond butter or peanut butter at uh, this point of time if you wish to add. You can always customize these balls according to your taste and uh, likes or dislikes. Mix until you bind everything well together. Now this mixture is ready and let's move on to the next variety of balls. Now for the second variety I am going to use dried mangoes and apricots for the sweetness. So I am going to chop mangoes into small chunks. I like the combination of uh, dried mangoes and apricot in my energy ball. Uh, if you wish you can either use uh, mangoes or apricot as per uh, your taste. Now I am going to transfer this into a grinder and I uh, will make a smooth paste out of it. Now our paste is ready so mix that with dry fruit powder. Keep this aside and let's move on to the third variety of balls. For the third variety, I am using uh, dried plums here. You can see it is already very uh, smooth in texture. So we do not require to cut it into small chunks. I am just going to transfer it into mixture jar and uh, grind it into smooth paste. Now mix the paste with the dry fruit mixture. Make a dough out of it and uh, keep it aside. Now let's roll the balls out of all the mixture. Now all the energy balls are ready. So at this point if you wish you can eat as it is. It tastes amazing. But I like to add more colors and crunch to my recipe. And here are my few favorite toppings. This is uh, desiccated coconut. And it's gonna give a white color to our balls. 
The next one is uh, black sesame seeds, which is gonna give a nice black color to my balls. The third one is white sesame seeds. The fourth is uh, spinach powder, which I made at home. So this is gonna give a nice uh, bright green color to our energy balls. The next one is uh, cocoa powder. The next is a combination of uh, beetroot powder and uh, coconut. And this is just beetroot powder. This beetroot powder also I prepared at home. And the last one is uh, crushed pistachio. So these are my favorite toppings. You can use uh, toppings according to your choice and taste. And you can see how amazing all the colors are looking together. I hope you like this recipe. If so, please don't forget to give thumbs up to this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon with the next recipe.